This video is for our synchronizing program for iOS iSync. At iOS.org, you can go to the Downloads section and you'll see Download iSync. And here is a list of the downloads, including the source code that we have here for you. And as you can see, there we have the three main operating systems that iSync is compatible with. So let's go to my iOS desktop and show you iSync in action. So this is my fresh new iOS desktop. And I have these folders that I would like to populate with some stuff that I already have on my personal computer. Such as the documents. See there's nothing in it now. So I just need to minimize my browser here. Now I have downloaded already and unpackaged it on my desktop here. So you will double click on the folder. And this is the Windows one. And you'll see iSync executable. So here is our iSync that pops up. First thing we want to do is go to our preferences and you type in your server URL. I'm using the iOS.info and then you put your username and password hit OK. Ask you to restart your iSync. Simple enough. I'll just restart iSync. And here we go. Now you'll see add folder at your toolbar here on the first line you look at local folders hit browse you can just browse your content find out what you want to sync with your iOS I think I want some uh, pictures so the first thing I'll sync is my pictures you just click on the photo yourself hit OK Then you type in what folder you like it to sync to. So I'll open up my web browser and see which folders I have. And of course, if you decide you want to put in a different folder, you can always make another one. put it in there. So you just simply type the name, hit OK. You see at the bottom there's a little pop-up saying that it's importing. The amount of time it will take for it to upload is dependent on your upload speeds. As you can see it already started doing the first one. So as that's working, I want to go ahead and add some more. You can add as many as you like. Just click on it again. Go through the same procedure. So as you see here, I went ahead and added two more. Uh, added some music, uh, some stuff to my documents and things. So let's go see our files on the iOS desktop. Now if I click on pics you can see that it's synced with my folder right here as you see as well as we go to my documents you can see that it's synced with my documents folder as seen here.
So that is a brief overview of iSync. Bring up the program again for you. And here, if you ever want to make any changes, you can right click and go to properties. And then you can always, if you ever change your server or you have your own or what have you, you can always go to preferences and change that with each machine. To the right is a description of what you need to do to get iSync working. There's a tab here for event logs to be displayed. Another nice thing, this is a customizable window. You can make it display, move the windows around inside of it, or have it separate. 